story. Okay, I'm at 10 Downing Street, photographing Mrs. Thatcher. And Mrs. Thatcher had an abscess tooth. And they say, okay, she'll be with you in 10 minutes. Have a coffee. So I just sat in the chair facing the empty chair all by myself. And the light was set up, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting and looking at the empty chair. And I'm sitting there and just over on the floor, five feet away, there's something sparkling on the floor. So I get myself up, and this is where she's going to come walking in. And I pick it up. It's a packet of condoms in 10 Downing Street. I thought, am I really here? Is this happening? And I, I could hear stuff in my pocket. She comes in. Whoa. She comes in, she sits down, take a picture of a beautiful light. She looks at it and says, this isn't me. I said, oh, right. She says, um, go get the, go get the um, scrapbook of China. Then I realized they were all paparazzi pictures. Boom. So I quickly, instead of having the light now, I just smacked her in the face, and that was Mrs. Thatcher. I photographed her a couple of times, but... Um, Did you ever mention the condoms? No, I didn't. I didn't. That was about the third time I've ever mentioned it. <laughs> but I know you could handle it. <laughs> uh, because of your start in music, was music something that was important to you, and is it still something that's important to you when you, when you shoot, but also in your life? Yeah, m music's very important. I, st I studied with a drummer called Jimmy Chapin, Jim Chapin, still around. And when he taught me, uh, taught drums, he told me one interesting thing. He said, in music, there's two kinds of musicians. There's the natural and the one that wants it. The natural, no matter what they do, is good. Even mistakes are good. The ones that want it, they just practice, and they get so good that only maybe another musician could tell the difference. And I think it's the same in photography. You know, there's some people that if you can just supply a real um, acceptable image, everybody's happy. Most, I'm sure most f fashion editors, and they, they got 12 pages that have to be filled. They just they don't want a bunch of nonsense. They just want it done. That's what I think. I, I wouldn't actually practice that, but to my detriment, I always try too hard. Do you think you'll ever find that thing that you think you're looking for? Oh, I've found it a couple of times. The thing is, I, when I worked with Lester, who was masterful, masterful, he would always simplify things mm -hmm. to the simplest. And then it's good to have it all, but not use it. Just to know what's good, how light falls, look at light. Well, I go to Florida, we have a place there, and I just lay in bed and look at the light come through the window and hit the walls, and I watch the light. And are you still shooting? Constantly. Constantly. Constantly shooting, shooting, shooting. Um, are you using digital now? <coughs> unfortunately, yeah. Well, that's the way life goes, but um, I did some pictures in New Orleans and I shot it on the Hasselblad and the quality of the film. There's something about grain and without being too technical, there was something about it and I shot pictures where the sun was banging people in the back of the head. And I think if I had done it digital, I would have fried it. I would have lost all the detail. Maybe not, because um, I only did one exposure. Boom. So, um, yeah, I love it. I'm going to go to my grave shooting. There's always something to take a picture of. There's always a new discovery. And I, as you go on, you, you refine yourself. It, you know, you get, try to get to the core of whatever you're supposed to be about.